So welcome everyone, we're back here with the interviews for Bot Masters. I'm Kamala here, your usual host, and today we've got here Suflex, representative for Vortex Gaming. So welcome Suflex. Hello. Hello, we're so excited to have you here. We've prepared a few questions for you to answer to. So if you're ready, we can start. Yes, I'm ready. Perfect. So let's talk a little bit about the origins of Vortex, right? Because you guys have kept mainly your roster from last split, back then named Team Infamous, and went to Vortex Gaming. And I want to ask you, how has that preseason gone like? What did you guys do? Uh, I think uh, the Vortex origins came from all the way from uh, Estonian Vipers. Mm -hmm. So there's been a lot of uh, mix-ups of uh, players. Mm -hmm. uh, and finally, we ended up uh, with this lineup. and. Uh, I think it's uh, going quite good and uh, we just contacted the Vortex organization and we asked to play under them. So that's how uh, the Team Vortex came about. Okay, so that's something we didn't know. So considering several of your players came from the last split and had already played bot classes, what do you think you have learned as a team and how did you implement those changes day to day? Uh, well, uh, we're sort of uh, tight in the Estonian community, and uh, we know uh, that uh, Team Infamous does bit. They like uh, practiced a lot in the beginning, and uh, I think they kind of over practiced because uh, we taught them to be uh, very good. But uh, in the end, it didn't go so well. So uh, we're going a bit uh, hands off this split, a uh, bit more relaxed, and uh, going uh, on the flow. On the fly, I mean. <laughs> That's nice uh, that you are taking it like a little bit more to your last split. It's definitely showing good results for you. And well, I mean, you've given us a little bit of a hint of our next question, which is how are you facing the split work? What's the philosophy behind Vortex Gaming? And what are you planning to do? What position would you like to end in? Well, um... Some of our uh, boys uh, on the team have to go do military service, so uh, we're not uh, going to push that hard uh, with the practice and stuff. Uh, so uh, we're just going on the fly and uh, we'll see what happens. We'll uh, we prefer to make it to playoffs, uh, not in the fourth position. Maybe we could uh, sneak to get the third, but uh, we'll see. I think uh, playoffs is definitely possible, but uh, Let's see how it will go. Mm -hmm. That's very interesting because you are considering a third position. Who do you think will take the first and second place? I think it's uh, between Goex Anima and Koskila. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think uh, even Iron Wolves can take games of them. And uh, I think uh, definitely asking. We can also take some games mm -hmm. uh, on uh, one of those. Okay, and do you think you will be able to do like sort of a tire list? right now, like with all the teams taking part in Baltic Masters and give us a little bit of reasoning why you think it's one of them is in that position? Uh, what was the question? Uh, who is the first position? Uh, yeah, just give us like the, your rank. How do you think the rank is uh, for the season I think, and what? Yeah, I think it will be Oskila first. I uh, think they will uh, uh, get it together. And I think um, Goex Animo will uh, end up uh, second uh, closely. Then, uh, then I'd, I, I, I would like to be us as third, and Dire moves fourth. And uh, I think it will be a scrap for the fifth place between M2 and uh, Medieval Riga. Mm -hmm. A little bit of what we saw last split. So we'll see if that happens again because we saw Method to Madness rising to take that second place in regular league, then kind of not making it through playoffs. But we'll see what happens. Uh, there are still plenty of days to, to watch the competition and for different outcomes to take place. Now yep. let's talk a little bit about these roster changes. I mean, obviously, being under a different organization, Vortex Gaming. Um, how is it like to work with a new roster? How is it like to, to get to work with new teammates? How do you adapt to it? Well, uh, as I said before, we're uh, quite close in the league community. Uh, I think everyone really knows each other. It's just uh, about 
like uh, it's like playing on the stage together uh, first time so uh, i think so far it's uh, going uh, quite well uh, i think uh, we can do a bit more roster swaps because uh, maybe some of the weeks uh, some players can't play so we're just uh, sub in uh, another player and uh, we'll make the games more exciting um, and we won't be as predictable because uh, yeah um, it's a no-brainer that uh, Ruff is our uh, best player and we want to play around him but we can uh, roll swap him to jungle, AD, like any position so uh, the teams need to fear that Okay, definitely uh, there are lots of things going on within that roster and who knows, maybe you can swap roles again now the thing is um, you guys have gotten a win so far out of three games that you've played um, I'm not going to ask you about that win because we talked about it during the interview that we had that day but I want to ask you what do you think will happen next week at least this week that I, this interview will be released what do you think, how do you think it will go? I think we'll go 2-0 two, two I think, two we'll, uh, I think uh, we're playing versus Wolves and Medivariga, am I right? I think so. uh, yeah, I think it, it'll be easy. I think oh. uh, they'll, get, they'll get smashed. Pretty easy. Oh. Like, uh, which one is the first game? Uh, uh, I'd like to tell you right now, but I can't seem to okay. remember. Uh, it, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. We'll smash it either way. <laughs> I love your confidence <laughs> in your, your results, that's very important. Yeah. Um, now, so the last serious question, serious um, invitations, yeah. is how would you define your playstyle? How is Vortex Gaming, how should Vortex Gaming be known in the European community? <laughs> As the rough show, nah, nah, it's, I think very, we get, we're very adaptable. Like, um, like, like I said, we can uh, roll swap our players. Um, if uh, someone can play, we can swap in another player. And uh, just, uh, yeah, we're a bit more relaxed and I think uh, that's how we play better. So overall, I think uh, we have a solid roster and uh, Solid uh, substitutions coming in also, so. Okay, so that's something to look out for. We're, we're sort of a we're sort of a dark horse, so people need to. I think so. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That your people need to take care of. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, and now that we've ended up with a series of questions, so let's go into a quick round of questions. This time, this week, the theme is Would you rather? So, a first, would you rather okay. question is, would you rather be a starter in the team but having to play your worst champion every game, or would you rather be a substitute but every time you play, you shine whatever your role you're playing in? Okay, but I'm already the second one, because I played Leona and I'm, I was quite uh, shining on, okay. on, the, on the rift, <laughs> so I think uh, the second one is for me. Uh, okay. I don't really want to play like Zoe or some assassins. I can't. <laughs> it will be awful. So you guys know what to make him play if you want him to lose. <laughs> okay, so next question. Second one for this quick round. Would you rather yep. play with four bots as teammates or play with four people, but they won't listen to anything you say, they won't follow your instructions, nothing? Okay, you're asking me if I want to play uh, with bots or solo queue. And <laughs> I think I'll go for solo queue. Because, uh, yeah, um, in a there's no, no gain. Uh, yeah, I, I don't gain anything from playing bots, so I oh, okay. <laughs> think uh, um, I'll, I'll take my chances in solo queue. <laughs> okay, and if you were Maybe. playing at Baltic Masters, what would, which one would you choose? I, I think the second one still. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so they wouldn't pay any attention to you, but yeah, um, yeah. these are people, right? We would just yeah, make a random place, make it as a fiesta. <laughs> okay. Good for the show, you know? I mean, you always provide great entertainment as a team, so why not? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Other teams have told us about how they have difficulties communicating in certain aspects, so it definitely kind of works like that for them. <laughs> but now, Suffolk's last question here is, would you rather, and this is very important, keep this in mind, okay, for predictions in the future, this is really important, really vital for you to reply to. Okay. Would you rather be solo casted by Dugda or by Trayden? Oh, that's the, that's the hardest question so far. 
Uh, oh, let me let's think. I think I'll go with Trier. Ooh, so, any reason why you want to make that choice? Yeah, I can't give a reason. I can't give a reason. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So the they're fun. they're both so uh, <laughs> like on the 50, 50, 50. No, no, no! You already made your choice, so there's yeah. <laughs> <the> back <laughs> okay. okay. So with that, that be the interview now. Please send a message to your fans. You've talked about the Estonian community, so before we end, you would like to say something for them. Okay, uh, I want to thank uh, all the fans who support Vortex or uh, the full national Estonian team. Uh, we're going strong. Uh, we can also take a lot of games from the top teams, so uh, don't miss any of the games. And uh, yeah, thank you for supporting us. Thank you for joining us today for this extra interview. And now we're gonna say goodbye until next week. So bye bye, see you next time. Bye bye.